It's Inspector Craddock, Mr. Stringer. Oh, how nice. Good evening, Inspector. Good evening. Are you here socially or officially, Inspector? Well, um, a little of both, shall we say. That poses an interesting problem. Socially, I can offer you a small beer. Officially, I cannot, if you're on duty. I, uh... All right, Miss Marple, it's official. Then perhaps some tea. Won't you sit down? Thank you, no, no, this won't take long. We were playing anagrams, Inspector. Hmm. Miss Marple, Police Constable Wells informs me that he observed you this afternoon pay a call at the cottage of the late Mrs. McGinty. Oh? Furthermore, you were apparently impersonating a rag and bone dealer. I certainly was not. I was collecting jumble for the church bazaar. Is that so? Well, if you don't believe me, I suggest you ring the vicar. Now. Now look here, Miss Marple. In the past, you've been of some small help to the police, and we're grateful, naturally. But at yesterday's trial, you misguidedly interfered with the course of justice. I'd feel a lot easier in my mind, and so would the Chief Constable come to that. If you would promise me here and now not to continue to do so. You can have that promise freely, Inspector. I have no intention whatever of interfering with the course of justice. Yes. Well, good. There's no more to be said, then. No. I'll say good night, then. Good night. Yes. Perhaps we should have confided our suspicions. Certainly not. That man has just thrown down the gauntlet. You know what the police are. The month of September, 1951. This reference to a rose. These things must have a great significance for our man. Or woman.